right in front of me, the two of them die. Right in front of me, the father and his baby mother. Yeah, one of them have to run for them life. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Happy Sabbath. Big up all of the Sabbath day worship of them. And let I tell you something this morning about God. Yes, I'm going to tell you something about God. I never say I come to call it now, friend. But we'll learn a bit. There's never a day that God isn't there for you. So don't you give up and surrender to your circumstances. You are loved by God. There may be days you struggle. There may be days you feel weak. But there's never a day that God isn't there with you. His love will give you the strength to continue to go forward. And make I tell somebody this work right, some nonsense that come in sector this morning. If you know want to hear about God, all you got to do is skip right here or you can leave this platform because we're going to continue to talk about God. Me never tell you, say, me I come, I come collect now, friend. No, 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 no. Remember me come for giving the news when I come on the news. I remember me, they tell me, say, Every day above ground is a blessing. I will learn a bit. I will for people here down upon the ground now. Because people just a drop like fly. People are dead. Left, right and centre. Remember me telling you if you're missing somebody and can't find them, them dead. Me need to go over port and I can know who missing and who dead. So I will learn a bit make I start the news right as a first. Because granny for the pump pension. But no, no. She walk around with bullet. The police has charged a 60-year-old woman and a 33-year-old man with illegal possession of 150 rounds of ammo. They are identified as Shirley Leng, an employee of the Portmore Municipal Corporation and a resident of Cumberland in Portmore. I'm not telling you Portmore I'm big get a long time. And Horace Petinard, a salesman of Cumberland and Zadie Garden Kingston 20. The two were charged on Thursday November 11 and are scheduled to appear in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday November 16 where the case will be mentioned. Police personnel search a Nissan Tina motor car in Taz Meadow, Spanish Town at around 8.30 p.m. That is long after curfew hours. Yes, people, I had to say that on November 3rd and seized 46 rounds of 38 caliber ammunition. The police carried out an additional search in the Cumberland and 100 rounds of ammo was discovered. Hold on a bit now, paper my mats don't half. Not my mats half. I have no problem with maths. And the police, them now no sense every day me come and tell you look as I don't know. How when them add 146, them get 150. Then now that no make no sense. Hold on a bit now, the people. Make I give you some more news. A Manchester man is now serving a 42-year prison sentence is among four men charged with home invasion, killing of four members of a client and family in September. Remember me under the talk about this already, but we never get figure on house of the name. So here goes. Derek Azan was charged on Thursday with four counts of murder in connection with the quadruple killing that made national headline. Dane Anderson, Clifton Williams and Raheem Kennedy are the other men charged with killing Michael Solomon, 25, his common-law partner, Sharona White, 25, Sharona's sister, Tashana White, 33, and White's nephew. Luke Newman, 19, in the community of Havana Heights in September 12. Two men, Anthony Bennett and Arlanda Richards, have already pleaded guilty to murder, illegal pushing a firearm in their role in the killing and were each ordered to serve at least 20 years behind bars. 20 years in the prison, them get a waste, a waste of time with them, my boy. You don't want to let them out from bail. You don't want to let them out from bail. Give us a them bail, man. Yeah, man. You don't the comment section and go back for them get bail. I beg for them this morning. Give them some bail. I go do them, man. Give them some bail and make the community fix them business for them. Long time the community want them like how them know who them know. Let them out. Hold on a bit. I can give the people them more news. Prosecutors acknowledge that Bennett and Richards were armed with guns but did not fire their weapon. So them get the discount, people. Them get 50% this gun. And that's why them get 20 years alone. When me come out there, I tell them to slap with a ass criminal. I say, some man come on a ball. But no, my view. Give them a chance. I say, give them a chance to do what? Listen to this now. Azan was convicted in 2014 for shooting at a police team in Manchester in 2012 and sentenced to 35 years in prison for shooting with intent, 15 for illegal possession of firearm and 10 years for illegal possession of ammo. Look, I tell you no idiot police something. 
You see, man, when man saw on the road, I show, man, I show tough, I don't know kill you, no. I don't go on the road, but I look for them, to carry them behind bars, so go eat free food, and live tax-free. No, 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 no. Slap them and put them on the ground. That is where them belong. But I continue. The rest of this news are phone paper. The sentence for the shooting with intent was cut in half by the Court of Appeal in a decision handed down in July last year. Azan Anderson, Wilson and Kennedy were scheduled to appear before the Home Circuit Court on Friday via video link after the Director of Public Prosecution used a voluntary bill of indictment to have the case bypass the parish court. However, Anderson, Wilson and Kennedy refused to appear on camera court official disclosed. As and during his appearance, asked presiding judge Vinet Graham Allen to indicate why he is before the court. Well, on a bit now. Oh no, she say, as an have more sense than the justice system. The man knows him supposed to go before a pastor and I came before a judge. Him know that and that him want to do. Take him before a pastor. And you not even have six months for carrying back, you can't burn the body and just be the same pastor that should saw my phone. They said you are charged with murder. Graham Allen responding, holding up the indictment and reading out the allegation. The case has been adjourned until November 24th. And like me normally say, ball to ball coming through now get on this platform. All on the paper look nice and nice by turn out of gas. You understand? Come on, reach out to Santa Maxima, you know what I'm going out this and I don't want to do come, come, cause. Them say from your pass out above you, all out the South St. Thomas. So if you don't want to say Bull Bay or St. Andrew, I don't care. Right out of St. Thomas, we are going to people them say Bull Bay side, so we're going out there. But make I stop a moan of us, as I say, nice and nice bike, run out of gas, and I get some gas. So make I give you some news, we are going to a A district constable was found shot to death inside his vehicle in Mona St. Andrew on Friday night. The deceased has been identified as Okino Orton, who was assigned to detention and courts. Our news team understands that at about 9.30 p.m., the district constable was found with gunshot wounds slumped around his steering wheel of his Toyota Corolla motor car on Buttercup Drive. No worry, they said, people, I'm going to give you no more information on this. And speaking of that, remember me, I always tell you, I'm going to give you the update. Remember the two boys, they get slapped with a bull bay? The two brothers, them to be exact. Relative and friend come out and attack now. And guess who them are blame? No police? Right in front of me, the two of them die. Right in front of me, the father and his baby mother. Yeah, one of them have to run for them lies. Although I don't see no one face because light was shining, so you can't see anything. And the place was very dark. This outer man did it. Them all mentioned to them a police, you know. Yeah. And then we are bulletproof vests and pull over so you can't see nothing. I don't want to feel like you can't come come back people for sorry for you. It's like when you listen to the clansman child. You hear the boy come and say he's a businessman a day and gunman at night time. And not even neighbor them they know about that. So nobody feel like so you can't fool you. And speaking of that, I can ask you now one question. So before them reach home, the man them call them and tell them say the house burned down. What them did I run go home go do? That me want to know. Who no know say them a criminal and them get what they deserve? Well, and they have it now, people may have got right down a clan down. Remember one time when them tell us how they eat mackerel, it has to full up a whole heap of pepper. But guess what, people? The man them full up the mackerel down a clan down a whole heap of pepper. Yes, people, them can him right up. So, I can give you know that news. Police are probing Thursday gun attack in Monimus clan down, which left one man dead and two other persons injured. The deceased have been identified as 39 year old Orlando Coleman, alias mackerel. Them full up mackerel of pepper, people. Holy pepper, pepper grain full up him skin of Monimus housing scheme in the parish. Report from the Maypen police that at about 7.45 p.m., close to curfew hours, people, Mackerel was playing dominoes on the road. Yes, people, but I give you the full details now. Report from the Maypen police at about 7.45 p.m., Coleman was amongst a group of men playing domino when gunmen pounced and opened fire at them. You know the people I'm going to say, and before curfew hours, so they're on the road, and they're going to play like a dominoes, like a bit, and they're going to observe the protocol. And never 20 of them did there, and just the four of them around the table. You know, this is where no one say, turn on the yard. That is all me I tell you no. After the shooting subsided and gunmen escaped, Coleman was found suffering from gunshot wound while two other persons were seen with minor injury. What happened to the third man? What happened to the third man? Eh? The third man. When the five set it up, I don't know people I'm just ask the question from Klein and people them call them no. Other man they may get minor injuries was taken to the hospital. Boy, you see Coleman? Finance! You don't listen to me! Dead! Dead, dead, right on the spot. I'm have the picture for proof. Remember, me tell you, I'm not for wait for nobody for pronounce them. Me, I pronounce them. 
no motive for the shooting incident has not been ascertained. Yes, people, that's how them say, but me not really business about that. Me can move on right over Portmore, me gone now. Another one bites the dust. If there's a man, you wake up your family member, they said to you, say, yo, you say, look how more me has go over Portmore, and the ends go circle me other half. If you're not here from him from them time there, me can tell you something. I'm dead. Me can confirm it. I'm dead, 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 dead. No joke about it. Me have the video for sure with him body laid down on the ground. I don't know if we can make him out properly. But on the most of the piece of all crouches, they may have and say, yes, I him that. So they go and go pick up on the family member body down there. Dead, dead, dead. Anyway, people may have all it more news I don't know. 18 year old dead. And I go right up Augustown to. Yes, I go back up Augustown. Cause it now go on up the paper. Don't need to worry. Remember, I have all the news for now. And I go keep on the posting.